Hi everyone. This is my couch, by the way. It's my home. I figured that I'd show a little bit of house since I'm gonna be doing these videos, which are kind of personal. Anyway, today we will be making chicka chak chuka. It's very good. It's very delicious. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I don't know, up to you. It's very good, it's very delicious. I love it so much, it's very spicy. We're gonna be playing around with a lot of spices today that I love, such as parissa paste, and I'm probably gonna say this extremely wrong, gochugaru, which is Korean chili flakes. So this is a very good recipe, I love it a lot. It's very close to my heart. I've been making shashuka for my friends, for my family, for a few years. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. So, chickpea shakshuka, here's the recipe. I hope you all like it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to remove all of the insides of the bell pepper, the seeds, and this little strip that's inside of the bell pepper. I remove it because my aunt Grecia once told me that this is the stuff that makes you repeat your food. So like if you eat the bell pepper and you eat it with this strip and you burp and it tastes like bell pepper, it's because of this guy. So I always remove it. After that, you're going to cut the bell pepper in strips and then you're going to dice them. Now you're going to peel and dice your onions. So after your onions are diced, or just roughly chopped, that's however you like them, you're going to get a mortar and pestle and mash your garlic. After that, you are going to rinse your garbanzo beans. Now to the spices, smoked paprika, cumin, and cayenne pepper, harissa paste, and gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. Super spicy, I love it so much. You're going to take grapeseed oil, put it in a pan, and you're going to kind of saute your spices. This will help bring out all of the flavors of your spices, and it's gonna make them much more powerful. Once it starts being very fragrant, add your onions and your red bell pepper. Just sweat them out for a little bit, and then add your harissa paste. Followed by the harissa paste, you're going to add your garbanzo beans. Stir it a little bit, make sure it's all very together and let them stew for a little bit, three to five minutes on medium high heat. After they've stewed for a little bit, add your garlic and then add the tomatoes. Mix that in well. You can go as fast or as slowly as you like. I am a slow person. <laughs> And use a big spoon to squish a little bit of the tomato so you can get a little bit more of the juice out of the tomatoes. And you're gonna let this stew for a good 10 minutes on medium heat. After that stewed and your vegetables are kind of soft, you're going to start dropping the eggs one by one. What you wanna do is you're gonna make a little hole with a spoon and then drop an egg. I recommend you do this a little bit quick, so that way all of your eggs cook at the same time. So you're gonna drop the eggs and cover them and let them cook for five to six minutes for a jammy egg. While that cooks, you're gonna prepare your garnishes, parsley and feta cheese. I like to wash and slap my parsley a little bit so it can bring out all of the freshness and just give it a quick rough chop. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. Please remember that nothing is perfect. So after your five to six minutes are up, that means your eggs are ready. Uncover them and start to garnish. With your parsley, don't be afraid to use two hands. I like to two hands it, add the cheese, and then you're ready to go. Serve this with a piece of toast, a nice, piece of fresh bread. So something that can soak up all of that delicious sauce that you have. Also, something that can soak up a runny egg if you decided to make a runny egg. The garbanzo beans, the tomato, it's all gonna have a very nice bite and it's gonna be very delicious. So I really hope you enjoy this. Look at that. Mm. All right, 
right, and how simple is that? I mean, you can make it with chickpeas or without chickpeas. It's very, it's still very good. I like to eat it with a big, like, couple of pieces of toast. That's my favorite. So yeah, I hope you all make it. I hope you enjoy this delicious recipe. And if you like the video, click like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. I hope it's nice. If not, please be gentle. Yeah, thank you so much. Please subscribe. Let me know what you all think. And if there's something that you'd like to see in this video, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. I can explore maybe a technique or a recipe, whatever you all like. Bye.